let my boy, um, all my children are yummy, and I'm in love with them, and, and um, I love my girls, and I know that when I'm in the nursing home, they'll be the ones to come and pluck my chin hairs. <laughs> Because he has now since married and gone off with his wife and her people. And that's what boys do. They cling to their wife. That's biblical. He said to me, Mom, she is now my immediate family. You are my extended. <laughs> that's what he said to me right before they got married. And he said, Mom, that's biblical. I'm supposed to cling to my wife. And I thought, why did I show him the Bible? <laughs> Well, he has always been spiritually mature. We call him our little Billy Graham. Um, my husband and I, not, and we didn't do it. God did it. I'm full of sin. Okay. I've been washed in the blood, but I've been a horrible, horrible person. Um, not too bad, but okay. Um, so this baby has been just like an old man all of his life. Let me give you an example. He had a little girlfriend in high school, and um, he would go over to her house, and they'd watch movies. And I, he came home one night, and he used to tell me everything. And, and I said, what y'all been doing? He said, well, we've been um, watching television and kissing on the couch. And I said, OK, baby, OK. That's all right. That's normal. But I said, you know, before you know it, you've got your hand on somebody's leg, your arm around, and you know, things can get out of control. And I just say, slow it down. He looked at me like I was crazy. And he said, Mom, I've prayed about this. Nothing like that's gonna happen. And I know he meant that. And all I could think of to myself was some of the nastiest things I ever did. <laughs> Was at the Adams United Methodist Youth Fellowship <laughs> on a hay ride. I don't know what it was about hay that set me on fire. I wish it did now. Because I could get a new purse out of that. Um, okay, y'all, have you ever heard of lock-in? I know uh, everybody in here that has been from Chattanooga has probably been raised in church. Okay, I don't know who that little darling sweet fool was that came up with the lock-in. Some probably little woman in a committee meeting. And she probably said, oh gosh, y'all, let's come up with something for all the hormonal teenagers. Let's gather them up and put them in the church building and lock the door and turn the lights out and leave them there all night. Maybe somebody will end up pregnant.